It's getting too crazy, man. It's getting too wild. Just, just, just when I thought, you know, I was gonna, you know, just go out and enjoy things. This nigga Rick Ross goes crazy on Drizzy. This might be an ether. And guess what? It's gotten to me that this is just a warning shot. They said Ross got a whole clip for Drake. We don't need an intro, champ. We going to jump in. This is crazy. This is the best birthday gift ever because there might be more people dropping tracks. And yes, it's my birthday, champs. Look. I'm out. Look. Champs. He said this is an assist to French Montana because he was hating on his project is what Rick Ross said. He said that he tried to make his nose smaller. He was trying to adapt to his Caucasian side. Why are you saying the cease and assist the French? That's crazy. So him and French got beef too. So damn, you got beef with everybody, nigga. Salute to the birthday wishes, man. Y'all, y'all feel free to send a donation. This is not AI. No, this ain't AI. This Rick Ross. No, this ain't AI, bro. This is directly from Rick Ross. Rick Ross, he responded laughing and then he dropped these tracks. This is not an AI. I repeat, this is confirmed. My people's was around Rick Ross and this and this giving me a lot of information right now. My people's was around Rick Ross. My people's was around Rick Ross. All right. I ain't got no reason to lie. I know plenty of celebrities and things like that that I talk to on a regular basis. I just don't tell y'all about it. This is real, confirmed. Rick Ross's camp confirmed this is real. And this is only a warning shot. There's more disses than Rick Ross got in the chamber and he's ready. Allegedly Little Wayne says he might jump in on this if niggas mention his name. Wayne says that if niggas mention his name, that Wayne is going to get involved. This is crazy. This is the best gift ever, nigga. I want to see Havoc, nigga. I want to see Hip Hop Havoc again. We need that control error back. This is great. This is great. I love it. This is amazing. I want to see Havoc. I want to see... <laughs> Madness, yes, shit. Let's get it. Look, look at the Rick Ross. This he's going crazy. This crazy. I'll kiss you, jab, crack smoke. Yeah, gang. <laughs> That's just the warning shot. We can verify that this is clearly better than whatever the hell Drake put out. That was dirt. I said what Orby put out was dirt. Respectfully, garbage. The beat, trash. Everything about that was garbage. Respectfully. <laughs> It don't got to be on Rick Ross page. Listen, let me explain something to you. Just because a rapper does a diss track doesn't mean he got to post it on his page, bro. Understand that. That's not how That's not how it works. That's not how it works, bro. The team dropped. You think Rick Ross? No, no, no. Rick Ross's team dropped it. Rick Ross laughed. You know what I'm saying? Wayne said if his name get mentioned that he's going to jump in. Facts. He says French Montana got hit with a cease and desist by Drake because Drake was jealous of French Montana's project. A lot of people do not rock with Drake. And they say because Drake came at Metro, it also is the reason why people is coming at him too at the same time. I guess Metro is really, really close to these people. You dig what I'm saying? All right. You had the ASAP. They revealed ASAP Rocky diss Drake, but Drake took the first shot. With, with uh, the little Yachty track. It's another late night. You know what I'm saying? Psst. It's crazy. It's about to get real spooky. There's niggas come, niggas gonna be coming out. It might be an ambush on Drake too at the same time too. You know what I'm saying? It's looking like the control era again. It feel like 10 years back, 2013, summertime. It feel like that era. This is amazing. I love it. <clears throat> Listen, gang. This is great. Okay, this is not an AI. The Drake this is also not AI. I thought the Drake this was AI. Uh, I think Drake's this track was lazy, man. I think Drake Drake this track was lazy as hell. All right, it's super duper lazy. Rick Ross just just dropped the clip on. <laughs> just dropped the clip on on Drake, man. You dig? They not gonna play this in the club. This ain't club worthy. None of, none of these songs is getting played in the club. This ain't like back to back. Back to back is different. You dig? Back to back is different. See, 
the thing about it is y'all not gonna be able to get this audio because the audio then went to all of the the bloggers first so the audio went to all the big name people first you dig what i'm saying i don't know where you can listen to it i got this off of a page that's private that i'm subscribed to that drops a lot of news early understand now to get the official track i don't know where you need to go it's going to be available soon but i can't help you i really can't help you get the track <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you gang i can't help you get the track you know the availability to me is of certain individuals but honestly bro this is getting crazy what oh niggas is turned up right now like bro it's about to get crazy it's gonna be a lot of Bro, this will be a lot of coverage on this. I ain't going to lie, game. What? And the Raw, this is a warning shot from Raw Scott More Tracks. Raw Scott More Tracks. Academics on his live stream right now, like, oh, no, Drizzy might have effed up bad, nigga. Drizzy might have effed up bad. This is a great birthday present, nigga. I want to see hip hop mayhem, nigga. You dig? I want to see mayhem. This is what we here for. Okay, niggas said they want to hear bars. Niggas said they want diss records. Let's get to it, nigga. Nobody got to smoke nobody. None of that. No physical altercations. Let's put it on wax. Let's get to that. Let's get it on wax. <laughs> All right? Let's get it on wax. <laughs> oh, it's getting real spooky out. You're going to run that Rick Ross track back too, by the way. You're going to run it back. Oh, chin. Look. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't let Wayne get up in that booth, nigga. If Wayne get up in that booth, it's going to get ugly. Don't let Wheezy get up in that booth, gang. Don't let Wayne get active. Wayne said if his name pop up, he's finna get active. This is a very dangerous little Wayne right now, too, nigga. Y'all see, see him on that Benny the Butcher record? That nigga, let me tell you something. That nigga Wayne violated Benny the Butcher on his own song. Not gonna lie. I don't know if y'all seen that 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 song, heard that song. Wayne and Benny the Butcher. Benny the Butcher got cooked, nigga. Nigga Wayne was not playing no games. Wayne right now is dangerous. This is a very dangerous little Wayne. I don't think nobody wants smoke with Wheezy. Wheezy on some different type time right now, nigga. Wayne is on different type time. Don't let Wayne Get that lighter flicking. You know what Wayne do, champ? It's going to get crazy. Oh, man. Who else is going to get in the mix? This is crazy. Don't let Wheezy get up in that booth. But Rick Ross is up right now. I don't give a damn. Rick Ross made Drake this look like nothing. Drake's this was Degrassi friendly, nigga. You could have used the Drake this for the Degrassi theme song. In my personal opinion. The hell was Drake talking about? Nigga, you ain't had one punchline in there. Nigga, you are a rapper that known like this ain't sound like 3 a.m. in 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 North Dakota, nigga. <laughs> like this wasn't that, bro. This wasn't nowhere near that, nigga. 3 a.m. in 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 Tallahassee, nigga. This 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 wasn't that. You dig? Oh, don't let Wayne get up in that booth and get active, nigga. Please. Cause Wayne gonna punish somebody. All right, Drake. Mm -hmm. It's looking shaky. You might want to drop that in that next joint. They said you got a crazy one. They said you got something left. They said you got something nuclear in the chamber, champ. You might want to get to that. Get to the nuclear, the nuclear joint, the one that's crazy. Get to that. Feel me? Mr. Knowledge A7 says, Wayne, this is never was hard like that, but regular record type, he's untouchable. I disagree. Louisiana Animal. That he did for 50 Cent was kind of crazy. Wayne was bad. Y'all remember Louisiana Animal? When he dissed 50? Hey, Wayne was spazzing on it. Wayne was on it. I wouldn't say Wayne diss tracks is trash. Now, he doesn't, he ain't known for doing crazy disses, but that Louisiana Animal joint he did over Boosie B against 50, he was, he was wilding, bro. He was wilding, bro. I'm just saying. He was wilding. And Wayne right now, I think, is in a very dangerous form. All right? 
Wayne is one of them ones, man. You don't want to smoke with Wayne. That nigga is one of them ones. I'm just keeping it a bean with you. Do not let Wayne get that lighter flick in. Please. <laughs> Wayne crazy, bro. I done heard Wayne say some insane things. I don't think they want to get Wayne up in that booth, champ. Right? What Wayne did say, if he if his name gets mentioned, it can get ugly. All right? Wayne said if his name gets mentioned, it's going to get ugly. Facts. All right? Rick Ross just dropped something fire. That's that's fire. But Rick Ross said he got more in the chamber. Y'all want a Diddy this, nigga? Y'all want Diddy to get in the booth and start rapping, nigga? <laughs> Y'all think Meek Mill gonna get involved? Salute Rick Carl. Y'all want Meek Mill to get involved? Make sure y'all smashing the like button. Get them likes together, gang. <laughs> Smash that like button. Y'all want Diddy to get in the booth? Y'all want Meek Mill? <laughs> yeah, that was fire. R Rose is not playing no games. <laughs> Rose is not playing absolutely any games with anybody. Do you understand? Rose is going crazy. Like I said, this was this was Rick Ross's warning shot. Okay, they said Ross got a fully loaded clip for Weezy, not Weezy for Drake. My fault. You know what I mean, Ash said Diddy and all his victims should make a diss track. <laughs> Yo, listen, I don't think Diddy's gonna come in. Meek Mill needs to stay far away from this beef as much as possible. I think Meek has made some dope music, but Meek ain't, you know what I'm saying? Listen, Meek don't belong in this. 30 Red 44 says, damn, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, champ. Salute. It's 30, 30, 30 for 30. 30 years old with 30,000 plus subscribers. Crazy, I know. We gonna get to 100K too. You did? We gonna get to 100K. You feel me? He wrote Mixed and Mastered in two hours. <laughs> He said, I'm wondering who's on Drake's side and all this. The only person that's probably on Drake's side is probably Lil Wayne because Wayne is like the nigga who, who ushered him in. You know what I'm saying? Wayne Wayne and Birdman probably the only ones on his side and Nicki. But that's probably all he got because everybody else is against Drake. Now, Drake was doing some sucker type moves. You got to be honest, man. Drake was doing sucker movements. That's why everybody going against Drake. Meek Mill, stay away. <laughs> Let Rick Ross handle this. I think Ross is good. If Wayne feels the need to get crazy, it's going to get messy. If Wayne hops up in that booth, expect, expect it to get crazy. Ain't no telling who going to jump in the mix, man. Ain't no telling who going to get up in the mix. Ain't no telling this is going to separate the niggas who really like that versus the niggas who's just not that. All right? Ghostwriting niggas got to be separated from niggas who really got a pen like that. You feel me? That's what I'm going to say. If you not like that, you need to just fall back. We still waiting for Kendrick to drop something. Kendrick might drop tonight. Ain't no telling, nigga. And guess who's going to be up tonight live talking about Kendrick? This me, nigga. The mayor. Oh, the mayor's on it. We we watching everything from all angles. Okay? James, this is crazy. This is a crazy but a great day in hip-hop history. The the birthday <laughs> on my birthday, champ. People are going wild. I love it. I love to see madness transpire in the hip-hop world when it comes to bars, champ. This is what we've been needing for a minute. We're tired of these mook-like Antics that these niggas is doing. We don't want to see Playboy Cardi in a onesie, nigga, with fishnets. Looking like a mook version of Jeff Hardy. We don't want to see little Uzi Vert doing them Vogue dances. That whatever happened at Coachella yesterday, leave it at Coachella. All right? We don't want to see that. Salute to them niggas, whatever they do. I'm not judging you, champ, but we not here for it. We here to see boss, nigga. We here to see rapping. Rick Ross is rapping. All right. Who knows what's next? Ain't no telling what's next to come, champ. It is no telling, but it is getting insane. And I love it. 
I love it. This is what I like to see. So the Drake, so it turns out the Drake this was, I thought the Drake this was AI, man. I thought the Drake this was AI. <laughs> you know, it's it's getting <laughs> it's getting spooky, man. It's getting real spooky. Look, <laughs> salute for the, the birthday wishes. Oh, happy belated to you, champ. Salute to the birthday wish. Make sure you, if you want to send a donation, you can. <laughs> oh, they got the full, oh, we got the full this. Hold on. Rick Ross, Drake, this white boy. Okay, so I I finally got the three-minute this. If you search Rick Ross, Drake, this, Drake, this. Let me get on YouTube for a second. We about to hit the YouTube real quick. So, the diss track drop on YouTube. Somebody got it uploaded. Oh man, hold on. Rick Ross, Drake, this. We gonna hit a whole record together, y'all. Cause uh, what I played for y'all was a little snippet. It's not even the full track. But um, they call it Champagne Moments on that piff. Okay, so he he named it Champagne Moments. That's the name of the diss track shit. We're going to get into that. Make sure y'all hitting the like button share the video before I play the full track. I need y'all to make sure y'all smashing that like button and sharing the video. Please smash the like button. Get them likes together. We're going to listen to the entire track in its entirety. Salute to everybody that's in the building. Yes, it is my birthday, champs. Feel free to hit those donations, you heard. We're going to get into this Rick Ross. Oh, my God. It's getting smoky out here, gang. Look. Look. Champs. This record right there. Hey, look. He's smoking on that Aubrey pack. He's smoking on Aubrey, nigga. That's what he's doing. And this is a warning shot. This was better than the Drake this. And we heard the Drake this. It wasn't hitting for nothing, respectfully. Some of y'all think it was fire. I don't know why. It's trash. <laughs> nigga ain't had one punchline, no nothing. Dirt. The grassy friendly type diss track, in my opinion. And the beat was tired. The beat was terrible. So people say Rick Rose stole the persona. Rick Rose was really selling what he was selling though. Rick Ross was actually selling though. I'm, just, I'm not gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? 50 Cent got his name from the real 50 Cent. Difference is 50 Cent actually acknowledged the real 50 Cent and he actually got, you know, the family to, you know, give him the confirmation on having that, that name 50 Cent because the real 50 Cent was a whole different person. You know what I'm saying? But when it come to Rick Ross, <laughs> yeah, it's from the real Rick, the real Rick Ross, you know, that Rick Ross, but facts over fiction, you dig? <laughs> he said the race car, what are we doing? Well, he's saying that Drake really don't like to identify with his black side. You dig? Rick Ross was a correctional officer. That's facts. He said he was. All right. But the man was actually pitching work as a correctional officer, though. There's a lot of gang members as correctional officers, just so you know. All right. I know that's law enforcement. <laughs> But there's a lot of gang members that are also law enforcement. You get what I'm saying? I get it, though. Brendan says, sorry, but I can be mistaken. Isn't Drake half white, half black? His father, yes. His mother's white and his father's black. These are facts. You dig? But Ross going crazy. Ross going crazy, though. Now, even though Ross was a correctional officer, the man was in the streets. Feel me? He's in the streets and... Like I said, there's a lot of correctional officers that be in the streets. These are facts. Ash says Drake didn't seem like he was from the streets until he became a rapper. Drake was never from the streets to begin with. The nigga was on Degrassi before he was a real rapper. Right? One of my people used to ghostwrite for Drake before he got signed to Young Money. Drake always had ghostwriters. Drake had ghostwriters before he was signed to Young Money. Niggas was ghostwriting for Drake before that. Remember, Drake's inspiration was Joe Budden. That's a fact. When Joe Budden used to have the Joe Budden TV YouTube channel, Drake was on it because Drake was a fan of Joe Budden. So Drake uh, always was a Joe Budden fan. And he used to adapt his style way back when to Joe Budden. He was a big Joe Budden fan. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't know that, I'm telling you. You dig? Joe Budden was Drake's inspiration. And if you remember, Joe Budden was dissing Drake. And nobody gave a damn that he was dissing him. He, he dropped like four diss tracks for Drake and Drake never responded. Feel me? <laughs> 
What's what do you mean XXX Tentacion? What what about him? Nobody Drake ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> Drake has zero to do with. So here's the thing. When it comes to XXX Tentacion, Drake dissed XXX Tentacion when he made the record God's Plan. God's plan was a diss record to XXX and Tacion because what X was doing, he was doing something similar to what was being done in the God's plan song. So that's how it, that's how it goes, man. You dig? It's a fact. <laughs> he didn't do nothing to XXX and Tacion. <laughs> that's that's BS, bro. Conspiracy theory nonsense. The people who did something to XXX and Tacion are rotting in prison. Okay, <laughs> the people who did something to X are in prison rotting right now. Drake don't have nothing to do with that at all. All right, that was some. That was just some. That was just pretty much what would happen to any rapper that goes to their hood and gets got by people in their hood because they don't have anything. That's why Lil Boosie on Vlad TV says these rappers need to not go back to their hood because that's what can happen. You know what I'm saying? Now, Canada, Canada is very dangerous, actually. It's just as bad as Chicago, if not worse. You know, Canada gets very crazy. I know a lot of people in Toronto that I'm real cool with. Let me tell you something. Canada is not sweet, bro. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Them, them boys in Canada go crazy. In fact, here's another here's another not well-known fact for y'all. So y'all remember when Kodak Black, got grazed with a bullet at Justin Bieber's party in Hollywood. You do know that was a Canadian nigga that did it because Kodak Black and Drake got a silent beef and the niggas from Must Gang got beef with Kodak and Kodak got beef with um Don Q and um what's his name? Don Q and A Boogie with the hoodie. So A Boogie with the hoodie and Don Q got the same ties to Wuss Gang as Drake does. And Don Q and A Boogie got beef with Kodak, and Drake got beef with Kodak. So what happened was when Kodak Black went to that Justin Bieber party in Hollywood, a nigga from West Gang came, and he was the one doing the shooting. Now that nigga had just came out of jail, and he came over state lines, and he was in Cali, and nobody knows who actually did the shooting. They didn't. They never even arrested or did nothing. The LAPD ain't do nothing about it because they didn't know who it was. But Son was from West Gang who did it. It was a Wuss gang nigga who had just got released from prison who had came and shot at Kodak Black at the Justin Bieber party. And that all was because he had beef with Drake and he had beef with A Boogie with the hoodie who all had ties to Wuss gang. And these are facts. Now, some idiot, some idiot is going to say, oh, you're federal champ. This is known information. This, this information been in the public for a minute. <laughs> you did? Ash says, maybe... That was the defense attorneys claiming Drake because the defense attorneys are stupid. They had a poor defense attorney. Anybody who would go to court saying Drake has something to do with X's death is stupid. They didn't have any real lead. That's why they said that stupid nonsense in court took them out. Ah, we need Drake and like, Drake for what? He don't got nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Jason Carl says, I didn't know your people was in jail. Damn, that sucks. All oh, Ricky licking them in. Wait, what? <laughs> licking what? Pause. <laughs> DM3 says, Facts Champ, they can play crazy with them Canadians if they want to. Leave them Canadian niggas alone, man. <laughs> they had to try to blame someone else. They tried it, bro. It, it, it wasn't useful in court. Okay, the judge wasn't going. Nobody's going for that. Rick Ross got pressure on, on Aubrey Head right now, though. Rick Ross will put that pressure on Aubrey Head. Oh, champs, it's getting reckless. What's next? Oh, gang, look. Make sure y'all getting them likes up, champs. It's 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 good. It's getting crazy. Who knows? Like somebody else out of the, the woodworks might drop a diss track. It's looking like the control error all over again when Kendrick dropped the control version. Everybody had a verse and all that. You know what I'm saying? This is going in so many different directions right now. You know what I'm saying? Twin Thugs says, if Rose is dissing Drake Weezy, might enter this war. Well, I'm going to tell you what Wayne said according to Rick Rose's camp. 
according to what I'm being told, Wayne said he's not going to jump in the mix unless he hears his name get mentioned. So he said he's going to let them niggas do what they do. You dig? DMP says, is this true that GDs did Rick Ross dirty? No, that's actually a lie. Them, them GDs didn't do anything to Rick Ross in Atlanta. That's a that's false. See, what y'all got to realize is this. Just because Rick Ross was a correctional officer does not mean that he wasn't in the streets or have people in the streets that was backing him because he did. Rick Ross isn't Rick Ross ain't soft and the people around Rick Ross ain't soft. Allegedly, I know some people that was around Rick Ross in his prime stages. And this is how I'm getting my information. Rick Ross is not who you think he is. <laughs> Let me tell you that. No, Rick Ross is he's 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 he's, he's like that. Verified. Them GDs in Atlanta ain't do nothing to Rick Ross. These are also facts. I'm telling you what I know. And that, that's documented. Because guess what? If them GDs actually did something to Ross, where's the proof? Them niggas would have been very, very, very happy to expose the fact that they did something to Ross. Or took something from Ross. Or got money from Ross. So them niggas gave him like a couple million or, or, or whatever. And that, that they finessed him or they, they extorted him out of bread. That never happened. Them niggas would have been more than happy to flex the fact that they was able to get Rick Roll spread. They didn't get a damn thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, champ, if you think Rick Rose is trash, then that's cool. I don't think the song is trash. I think the song is good. I'm not a huge Rick Rose fan, but I'm just being honest. Rick Rose got, got Drake right now. You know, that's just, and that's just an honest opinion. If you don't feel that way, hey, that's fine, champ. You don't gotta feel like Rick Ross is nice or that his this is nice. You could think it's trash. I mean, that's cool, King. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that. We all got difference of opinion. We all got different tastes, different ears, and that's fine. You dig? He didn't pay them niggas. Wait, because he paid KK that three. Who's KK? Is it true TI homie Pete on Drake? Uh I believe so. I heard it. I heard it happen at the Takers, at the Takers movie premiere. That's what they said happened. I don't know if it's true, but that's what they said happened. Yeah, Ross, Ross is wilding on Drake right now. I ain't gonna lie. Like, Ross going crazy on Drake. You know what I'm saying? It's getting real crazy right now. Man, oh man. You got some people thinking, ah, oh, Drake did him. Ah, oh, Drake going to get him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Drake looking real crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Salute Astro B O K. <laughs> Your sports says thank you for keeping it a hundred champ because you know the fifty cent stands the living. I'm from fifties hood. I I F with fifty heavy. I rock with fifty heavy. But facts over fiction. <laughs> facts over fiction though. <laughs> you know, fifties fifties legend man. Fifties amazing. But you got to tell the truth, gang. You got to tell the truth. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, man. <laughs> Drake is never going to. Hey, don't be surprised if Pusha T make another diss track on Drake neither. Speaking of Pusha. Southside, we outside. Speaking of Pusha. Speaking of Pusha. Please don't be shocked if Pusha T come. Yo, I ain't going to lie. If Pusha come out the woodworks, it could get ugly for Drake. Let's be honest here. I'm not saying don't be surprised if your boy Pusha T feels like meddling <laughs> with the situation. I ain't going to lie. If that nigga Pusha come up in here on nonsense, it's going to get ugly for Drake. If Pusha, I ain't gonna lie, cause Pusha could come. You know who Pusha? Pusha be rocking with Future and them niggas. You know what I'm saying? You know who Pusha is cool with. It wouldn't shock me if Pusha T drop a diss track. Drake might need to run for cover, <laughs> cause Drake was supposed to drop a whole new. Drake was supposed to drop a regular song, and I guess it got pushed back. You know, Drake was supposed to drop a single of some sort, and it got pushed back. Don't let Pusha get involved in this. 
I don't think business is slow in rap. Nigga, so much going on in rap right now. Like, you just had goddamn uh, finesse two times and NBA Youngboy going at it. Business is never slow in rap, bro. There's always something happening in rap. <laughs> business is not slow at all. There's a lot going on. You're right. You just had uh, finesse two times and NBA Youngboy having an argument. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people believe finesse two times is not like that. Finesse two times is like that. <laughs> Boosie is like that. <laughs> you dig? I, I mean, as far as sh street business is concerned, I don't really mean in the rap way. But if we're talking about rapping, Pusha T, Lil Wayne is like that. Tune Thug said, Pusha T, bet not drop a diss. He still ain't reply to Jim Jones. And he's not going to reply to Jim Jones. But Jim Jones was coming for his head, too. I ain't going to lie. Jimmy putting in work too. A lot of people don't like Jim Jones. Jim Jones is nice. Jim Jones got better with age, man. Jim Jones is is is, is he's nice, bro. Jim Jones is nice. Especially like this is the best Jim Jones is right now. Like Jim Jones is like like he's older, but he's he's gotten a lot better. He's gotten a, a way better than he was. You know what I'm saying? So Jimmy, Jimmy Cook too. DM3 says, come on, man. Man said Kendrick had a size seven shoes, men's shoes. That's crazy. So that shit trash. I think it's garbage. <laughs> bro, that Drake song is garbage, bro. Respectfully, K gotta wipe the floor with that nigga if he plans on doing any more dishes like that, nigga. I want a 7 a.m. in Colorado, nigga. You gotta you, you gotta give us some 7 a.m. bars, Drake. We'll be doing. You giving these niggas some. Some nasty Degrassi raps, nigga. Yeah, champ. That's why your Jordans didn't match your jacket. You're like, nah, nigga. That's that ain't it. Drake, this was garbage. Terrible. And I, I like, I like what Drake rap, but I think, I think Drake is better than the BS that he dropped. That's that's not the Drake. The Drake that I that I've seen that's nice. That's not that ain't the same Drake. That ain't the same, Drake. <laughs> you dig? Rose been around before Drake, too. Now, Drake has amazing accolades. But uh, somebody about to drop again, man. It's Saturday. I think niggas got free time. Niggas is in that booth getting busy, nigga. They up in that booth getting active right now, gang. Ain't no telling. Ain't no telling what's next. You know, we 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 can't predict what's what's gonna come out the thin blue sky right now, gang. It's getting real spooky right now. We ain't no telling what's next. Feel me? The Drake joint was not AI. It's been confirmed. People people are telling me it's not AI. That was really Drake. I thought it was AI too. I'm not gonna hold you because of how lackluster it was as a diss track. It was very lackluster. But uh, Drake dropped that. That was that was. That was Drake. Uh, I guess that's his warning shot to everybody. I think he did it too fast. I think that was a rushed this. He he rushed that too soon. And I, and the only reason I think he rushed it is because of the ASAP Rocky diss that went viral. It was ASAP Rocky dissed him and said that he smashed Drake's BM before Drake even met her and got her pregnant. So I guess Drake went and rushed into the studio and then rushed that project real quick. But terrible diss track. I can't get with it. I ain't going to lie to y'all. He could have did way better. I've heard better. <laughs> I've heard better from from Aubrey. We need nigga. We need a seven a.m. and in, in, in goddamn Calabasas, nigga. Give us something. <laughs> Give us that, nigga. Then you got a battle. You dig? And, 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 and then you have a battle. But Rick Ross right now is on is on Drake's head. And matter of fact, I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run the Rick Ross this back one more time. I gotta go eat something, gang. It's I'm very much excited and I'm very much looking forward to whoever drops a diss track again. Who knows who's next, man? You said that Drake diss gave super ugly. I'm not going to lie. I think Jay-Z's super ugly record is very, very underrated. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think it's very, very underrated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think it's very, very underrated. You know, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I think that I think it's very, very underrated. Super Ugly is underrated. 
You dig? <laughs> you said, was there a misspelled word on the topic? I'm not understanding one of the words. Uh, which word is it? You know what I mean? Uh, Jay-Z took too long to respond, in my personal opinion. I think TakeOver is better than Ether, in my personal opinion. But I think Jay-Z waited way too long to drop. Uh, he that, So the problem was Hot 97 dropped Super Ugly by accident. Allegedly, it could have been sabotage because niggas was hating on Hov. It could have been sabotage on the Super Ugly disc. But they were supposed to drop TakeOver instead of super ugly so who knows what the reaction or what the reception would have been if takeover drop when it was supposed to drop but uh yeah man super ugly is underrated to me i think super ugly is fire i'm not gonna lie. i think super ugly is kind of underrated this is my personal opinion just like i think uh what's that song from drake um i think charged up by drake is amazing have you ever listened to Charged Up by Drake when he when he did the warning shot? Charged Up by Drake is fire, bro. Listen to Charged Up by Drake. That joint is better than it. Bro, Drake was spazzing on Charged Up. I think that's another underrated diss track. Drake on Charged Up was hit, was different. Listen to Charged Up by Drake again. That's another underrated diss record. Drake was spazzing on Charged Up more than he, more than back to back. He was spazzing on Charged Up. That nigga was rapping, nigga. That's the type, but that's the Drake we, we want to see. That's the Drake we want to see, though. <laughs> do you think Drake's leaks, wait, do you think the Drake leak affects him in this battle? What do you mean? Which leak? It was purposefully, it was purposefully leaked on purpose. <laughs> yeah, Charged Up was crazy. You know what I'm saying, I don't think he comes back from another K dot disc, bro. Playing with his, <laughs> hey yo, you right, you right about that. He did, he did do that, but he sent it to a shorty, yo. He sent it to a chick, so it wasn't meant to be out there. He he sent it to a shorty allegedly. I don't know what niggas do behind the scenes. Who knows who it was really sent to? But a shorty allegedly got the video and leaked it. Let's run that that Rick Ross this to Drake one more time, gang. Let's run it back. Come on. It's crazy, gang. It's crazy right now. It's crazy right now, chip. You feel me? It's getting insane. Let's be honest, bro. But to be fair, it's like, what's next, man? Who's next? What's 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 the word? Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Eminem did did um this Drake. Yeah, Rick Ross is ready. Look, I, like I told y'all earlier, they, they told me Rick Ross got more diss tracks loaded. He's ready. He got more in the chamber that's even crazier than this. It seems like they bully in Drake. I agree. You know, listen, even DJ Academics said that Rick Ross is, is wilding on Drake. <laughs> and, and, and everybody has that feeling that, look, these niggas is trying to ambush Drake. These niggas is about to form Voltron on Drake. They got the <laughs> they got the goddamn the Fantastic Four coming for Drake. Not the not, not even the Fantastic the Justice League, nigga. Hip hop Justice League coming for Drizzy, nigga. <laughs> you feel me? The only person who's gonna defend Drake is Lil Wayne. That's his only hope. One of the ghosts. <laughs> Listen. Wayne, they said Wayne said he not jumping in unless his name get mentioned crazy. And if Wayne get mentioned crazy, Wayne is going to jump in that booth, flick that lighter, and get spooky on this. I love it, man. This is a great birthday gift. I like to see the mayhem in hip-hop when it comes to bonds. All of these diss tracks, it's about to get crazy. What's next? All I ask is what's next, gang. I don't know. But look, gang. Make sure y'all smash the like button, smash the like button, smash the like button, share the video. Leave your thoughts in the comments. It is my birthday, champs. I'm 30 years old, and I got 30,000 plus subscribers. We're going to call it 30 for 30, you heard? Feel free to send any donations to the Cash App, Venmo, Super Chat. Whatever you want to do, it's fine. Super thanks in the comments. Whatever you want to do is fine. Salute to the town. Salute to everybody in the chat as always for tuning in. If I see any more madness, 
I will be back live, nigga. Trust me, I will. I don't give a damn what time it is. I'm going to be up. Okay? <laughs> yeah, hit the like button. Shit, the video game. But look. It's the mayor. The one and only real New York mayor. F. Eric Adams. And you rocking with the town favorite show face news. It's Big Gotham. And you already know it's the town versus everybody at all times. Make sure you like the video. Share the video. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm up out of here, folks. We got more content on the way. Salute. Let's get it. Let's go. Come on, gang.